For the aortic arch, you need to use a view that we learned in the chapter on aortic regurgitation, namely the suprasternal view. So we point the transducer downward towards the aorta, and that's where we'll see the aortic arch. Now, this is a view that works best in young individuals. In elderly patients, it's sometimes a little bit more difficult. But what you see is you see the aortic arch here with the ascending aorta and then the descending part. And here we can also measure. We would measure, for example, here or here. And sometimes we're even able to measure parts of the descending aorta. So this is the view that we will get. We would have the aortic arch right here again with the ascending aorta, the arch itself, and the descending aorta. I think you can really appreciate that it's possible to detect dilatation here as well, and sometimes even dissection, because actually this region here is kind of a, a pre uh, place where you would frequently see dissection.